All right, someone has a pretty chronic congestion. Lots of mucus buildup, especially in the morning. Construction guys, can you tell I treat a lot of blue collar guys? Construction guys have this problem because they're always inhaling really nasty things. Even sawdust seems like it's harmless, but really nasty stuff. So what could you work on to help somebody who has a chronic congestion? If there's something going on, let's say for example, it's pulling up this way, see the nasal cavity right there? Okay, it's blocking that flow of mucus. And it's not just that the mucus builds up, it's that because you don't have proper air flow, they have basically a permanent infection. And it, this is gross, but you gotta talk about it because you're gonna ask these questions. When they get up in the morning, they're spitting all kinds of mucus and it's green. And so they have this constant infection that they are constantly fighting, okay? So by opening this up for them, working on the, the Palatini muscles in particular, as you do it, they're gonna get all, na all kinds of nasty flow going into the back of their throat. You can give them the trash can, ask them to spit. It's gross, but this is, it's an important part of what's going on. Most guys will just swallow it, by the way. Why does the ethmoid have holes on top? Mm -hmm. That's how you smell. Those holes are a direct canal straight to your brain. Okay? If there's an infection in that area, and somehow it gets to that, into that, those holes. By the way, this is also true of the teeth. They can actually get through the teeth up into your cranium, up into your brain, okay? Um, that could be a very serious issue where they would have to do brain surgery to clean that up. Very, very dangerous. All because they do construction, they refuse to wear a mask, they got a bunch of mucus stuck in the back of the head, they have this constant infection going on. Two or three swipes on each side could clear that up for them. And I teach people how to do that themselves, by the way. If it's a chronic thing, and I, I can teach them, I'll teach them how to do it themselves too. So you put on a glow. Right? So you gotta know these things so that you can convince people to do these really uncomfortable techniques <laughs> that they need. <laughs> and they don't know they need it. They don't even know it exists. You didn't know it existed until we started talking about it. Right? Imagine some poor construction schmuck that's got four or five kids and he can't work because he's got an infection, he's sick at home, right? So you're not just affecting his life, you're affecting his kid's life. And now his kids can go to college because he's, he can make a living and they can change the world, right? You gotta think in those terms. When you go into, you have somebody on the table and you're thinking, I'm gonna put my finger in this person's mouth and mucus is gonna come out the back of their throat, it's gonna be gross. You can't be thinking about that. <laughs> You think about their kids going to college because this poor schmuck and I can go to work and pay for this kids going to college.